All right, deplorables. Um, I know I've been pushing a lot of things about rope and cordage, stuff like that. Um, this right here is everything that I harvested from deer that I took uh, this last hunting season. This is silver skin from the back strap. These are tendons from the legs. So there's different things that you can take from the animal to make cordage and stuff with. Um, and so this right here is another piece of silver skin that was taken off the back strap. Now this is this is some tendon that I've already started working on and you can see once it's starting to you, you break it down how you'll get your fibers. So this was this before I started. Now before you get started on anything, see this piece here and this piece here, this is what you want. This is a membrane that goes around the tendons. Because our tendons, like our tendons in here, they're in a sleeve and they move back and forth in that sleeve while these sleeves are stationary. And then this piece right here slide back and forth to the sleeve. So in order to do that, you're going to have to break that sleeve down or get it off the tendon itself. Now, the way this is, I have where the tendon started to break off, but where I set it up, it rounded. You can take this and put it in uh, some water and let it soak for 10, 15 minutes. You see where, see where the tendons are in there? You can let it soak for 10, 15 minutes and it'll, it'll make it pliable. And what you're going to do is you need to saw a round rock, how that is has sharp edges and is porous, it's not smooth. That will actually tear up your tendons and your uh, uh, fibers and it'll break them and um, um, put small abrasions in them where they, it'll make it easier for them to break. You want to try to get as, your um, fibers as long as you can get them. Because if not, then you'll end up doing um, what I did with this and putting several of them together and then taking and using the, the braid that I showed you guys. So this this is this is this if that makes sense this is what it started out as and this is in its um, um, I guess the, I guess you'd say the middle of the um, um, the process and then this is finished product so like I said with the knife this is um, this is seen you on the ends it's been waxed and melted in but um, this is what you keep this stuff for so you can make your own cordage and you can wrap things in what happens is when you get this wet to wrap it in it will stretch and then you you can wrap it and when it dries it will shrink and that's what puts the pressure on the smaller areas that you need say your arrowheads to you know, make them tight in the in the, the shaft of your arrows and stuff like that. Or if you need something that's going to be held together tight, uh, two pieces of two pieces of stick or whatever you're going to lash together, you're going to lash it tight, and then when it dries, it'll dry even tighter. But to get this to this from this is a is a process. So what you need is you need two smooth surfaces. Have the smooth surface of the rock. You don't want anything with that sharp edge or the roughness. It needs to be smooth. And then you're working on a, on a smooth surface. This has a little bit of um, roughness to it, but for the most part it is, it is uh, smooth. Now if you take and set these in water and let them, let them soak and become pliable, there's this membrane that's around them. You have to break that membrane off. So what you'll do is you would actually 
get a pair of pliers and you'd pull that out or you can work it as it is now and you'd work that piece you're not hitting you're not going to hit it real hard and you're just going to take and break those edges and take all the tightness out of it now if you don't have a rock you can use the back of a ball peen hammer you don't want to use the front of it you use the back of a ball peen hammer because that's where you're getting your smoothness from but if you don't have a hammer or if you're out in the uh, in the wilderness you can find your find your rock and you see how it went from red to white it's starting to change color that's what this that's what this was what you can do is you want to break that down and I'm not hitting it all that hard but see what I'm doing is I'm loosening I'm loosening that membrane up around this tendon see where it's it's already starting to come loose around the tendon there's my tendon and there's my membrane and it's already starting to come so all I'd have to do is just pull that out it is a it is a process and it's time consuming but it's well worth the knowledge so there's that membrane opening up and then there's the tendon inside I wouldn't do that with the tendon itself. All this is is the the sheath, that membrane that the tendon is around. So once you do that, this is just the the wrapping that keeps your tendons in place. And then once that's there, just take and work up and down. I see there's still parts parts of the inner portion of that membrane that are still attached, so you want to get all that off. And then just just keep working it and twisting it. You want everything is real hard. You want to take and break it down where you can get the suppleness that I've gotten here on this, because you want to break all those little fibers down. You see, so still got a few edges that are still tight. Still got this part here that's tight. Now all this stuff that's breaking off. Once you get uh, you going, you'll have some residue that will break off in there save that because when you say save, save that you can use that and render that down as uh, tallow and glue see how that's already breaking breaking up so that's that's where you get in your we're gonna get all your fibers and what you do is you don't want to start at the end to try to peel it. You want to break it from the center. And I'm giving you guys just a condensed version. So I'll go from the center so that way I get my longer 
longer sections. Because if I started from here, then it may or may not go all the way all the way through. I just grab a small piece and pull it from the top, and I'm putting all that pressure at the top and see how it'll break off. So if you want to take and start it from the center, like I've done this one, take and start from the inside and then pull it apart. And you see how those fibers start breaking down. I said it sounds like I'm hitting it hard, but I'm not. See, so loosening it all up, taking all the roughness out of it. And what I did was while I was while I was rendering it down, I also you know turn it, twist it back on itself, and it breaks those fibers further down. Because basically, what you're looking for is your fibers, you want your fibers about the consistency of dental floss. So you want it about the, about the consistency of dental floss. It's about like so. so. That would be considered a small piece. You can break it down uh, once you get it completely processed, you can break it down into small, a pile of small, a pile of large, a pile of medium, and bag them. So this one still has some. You don't want to hit them, like I said, hit them really hard, and you want it on a softer surface so you're not going to damage that as you're breaking it down. See, I can break it down even further. I'm going from the center and not from the edges. And then that's your, there's your fibers. And then what you do, if you want to make cordage out of it, and your cordage just like, just like I had shown you guys. So you can get your end, twist it, bring it up. See, you've got your, you got your braid in it, and then you can keep going with that and put more into it to get your, get the rest of your rope. There. There it is. That is what I did with this, with these larger, with the larger fibers, and this, this is professionally uh, harvested. Seeing you here, and this is what this is from. So you can make your cordage, and you can run it back on itself, or you can take and get these flatter pieces and then just wet them
once you get it wet then you can run your wrap and it what it does is it brings out the natural fats and chemicals of the sinew and it makes that glue and it will stick to itself which is what this is and you can wrap everything on there and when it dries it'll dry it'll 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 glue itself together and it will contract and giving you a tighter um, tighter weave on your cinch if that makes sense so guys give it a shot go out and test these things do the dirt time and you can have like I said the book knowledge you can have all that book knowledge you want but if you don't have the dirt time and the hands-on experience you know you're gonna have an issue once you get out there and try to figure it out with the silver skin, it's basically the same thing. See how it'll start to change. You see the fibers and your strands, and this is how you'll get your longer, your longer fibers. What you can do is fold it back on itself. It doesn't have to be flat. And then keep twisting it. And the layers back on itself, it'll fold. And you take a, a lesser chance of damaging the uh, damaging the fibers. You see just that little bit? That's going to be some long fibers. So I work it all the way down. And see, they say you start from the center and how it will naturally break everything down. So, guys, I'm hoping that you guys are learning some stuff from this. I'm hoping that you're going to get out there and do some practical, practical application and try it, see what it'll do. So, there's the membrane on the outside that breaks it up. So, give it a shot, guys. So, I want to see some of the stuff you guys come up with. This is the knife that I made with the deer legs. Did the sinew, and then you see all it all it took. That's see, that's almost already dry, and how it's how it's sticking. So give it a shot, guys, and then post a video or something. Let me know what you did and how you were able to work it. So let's get her done. Work on it. Learn your skills, guys, and uh, let's all be deplorable together. Deplorable one out. See ya.